In this series, both Kiri and myself will open 36 packs or one box of a Pokemon TCG booster set. We will build a deck and have a best of one, and the winner will receive a spin on the winner's wheel. However, in each episode we will open another box of the next set, moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before battling each other at the end of the episode. You've seen the Yu-Gi-Oh! progression series, but this is our Pokemon TCG progression series. I don't know, it just, it feels kind of like a dream, doesn't it? I mean, I'm not going to lie, I bitched, I've complained. Um, the RNG is not in my favor, but last episode, I don't know, it's just like, RNG did out of nowhere, just turned up and made my strategy come all together. Oh yeah, my deck did exactly what it was supposed to. It turboed straight into those goddamn evolutions, dude. Um... Just unfortunate that that Machamp actually gave me some problems, but at the end I pulled out, pulled off the victory. So, yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm just, I'm still kind of stunned. The RNG is just, it's almost like you know, fate's like, all right, you know what, dude? You didn't complain all this much. Fine, we'll, we'll give you, we'll, <laughs> we'll throw you a bone, dude. <laughs> oh my god, like straight out of pity. <laughs> but all right, guys, um, let's go straight into this wheel. Um, honestly, I don't know what we'll get. I don't know what I'm looking for, but eh, we'll see what we get. Eh. Am I very surprised? No. God, get us every gun I'm done. <laughs> Alright guys, after thoroughly looking through um, our collections, we decided to go with Undergun Expedition. Why this card specifically? Um, this card's nothing special. I mean, you get to add two cards from the bottom of your deck, which actually, it's not that bad actually, but... Yeah, I only have one of this, so I figured this is actually um, pretty bad to only have one copy, so I decided just, you know what, I'll take one more copy of this, and I might use it in some future strategies, so. Alright guys, let's head over to the card explanation. Well, uh, unfortunately, it seems like Lady Luck ran out of uh, its luck for me last episode. Um... I really lost them, um, literally. Uh, I did not expect that deck, uh, that Derek pulled, uh, to be very good. Uh, yeah, I literally there's nothing else I can say about it. Just literally uh, wiped me clean, uh, six zero. Ah, but what's there to relish? I mean, it's pretty much common at this point. Uh, hopefully this week. Um, get something good out of it uh hopefully a victory of all cases anyways guys uh welcome back to uh the loser side uh with the card explanations uh my name is Gideon, but you guys know that already and today we are gonna explain the cards uh for ruby and sapphire the new set uh ex rather what but without further ado, let's go ahead. Uh, we'll talk about a few of these cards. Um, of course, the ones I think are uh, the most intriguing, the most interesting. Um, again, we may not be able to get these in our uh, polls, uh, but let's let's go ahead and talk about them anyways. Uh, so the first one I want to talk about, uh, Sharpedo. Uh, very good Poke Body um, with rough skin. Uh, if this at the Pokemon is damaged by opponent's attack, even if it's knocked out, uh, place two damage counters on the attack Pokemon. So that's basically good. Uh, basically, this thing's like sort of like a mini counter uh, to whatever Pokemon's attacking it. Uh, could potentially even kill a Pokemon. So if uh, our opponent is like uh, two damage counters away, they might want to really consider um, whether they want to keep their Pokemon or uh, just uh, switch or basically switch out uh, and then dark slash is sort of a bonus uh, of course um, discard a dark darkness energy uh, if you have one on it and then it does basically uh, 30 more damage uh, so max is 70 uh, honestly I don't know if it's worth it uh, if you can find a way around uh, utilizing both, uh, both types of energy to your 
uh, into this card, then so be it. Uh, next card. That one here. Uh, Delcaddy. Uh, very good Pokemon uh, power. Uh, energy draw. Uh, which actually sort of like utilizes or synergizes rather uh, with its uh, attack, sort of. Uh, so, once during your turn, before we attack, we can discard an energy card from our hand, then draw up to three cards from our deck. Uh, of course, it can't be used if it's affected by a special condition. Uh, third Pokemon we'll talk about. My Diana. Uh, very good Pokemon body. Uh, Intimidating Fang. As long as this card is your active Pokemon, any damage done to your opponent by an opponent's attack is reduced by 10. So, basically, um, sort of like, I guess, like, the, the, uh, the golem that we used last episode, uh, basically just reduces the amount of damage by 10, uh, sort of like, I guess, like, a, a good, decent tank, if you can, uh, call it like that, despite its, uh, lower amount of HP. Um, uh, and then we got its, uh, only move, Shakedown. Uh, basically flip a coin. If heads, choose one card from your opponent's hand without lucky and discard it. So basically it's just a sort of like a uh, it's just a good deep way to like discard a good resource from your opponent's hand. Very good. Uh what I'll actually talk about is one of the more newer types of uh, cards. The EX cards. U2 EX. Uh, probably the strongest one of the bunch in this set, uh, in my opinion. Uh, of course, it does explain how uh, EX cards work. So, when this card has been knocked out, your opponent takes two prize cards instead of one, uh, which pretty, which pretty much becomes the norm for like later cards down the line. But we'll talk about those uh, when we get to that point. Anywho, uh, this card is very good, uh, mostly for. Um, its first attack uh, will lead up to the second. Uh, energy absorption. Uh, attach up to two energy cards from your discard pile to uh, discard. So basically, it's just preparing itself for its uh, for its only attack, which is Cyber. Uh, no effect and only doing 60 damage, which is pretty good. Like on a basic Pokemon, that's like honestly really good. Uh, big card we have Sceptile. Uh, very interesting, uh, first attack, which is Lizard Poison, uh, does base 20 damage, uh, and it, its effect depends on how many energy you stack into this thing, so, if you have one attached to Sceptile, uh, it'll be asleep, or, but the defending Pokemon will be asleep, if two is attached, the defending one is Poison, if three, uh, it'll be both asleep and confused. And then if this card has more or more energy attached to Sceptile, uh, the defending Pokemon will have not only asleep and poison, but also burned as well. So this thing can actually inflict a bunch of uh, st static conditions depending on how, how much you put in. Uh, and then of course, if you have five, uh, basically Solar Beam, uh, 70 power. Uh, no effect. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the cards. Um, so let's go ahead. Uh, with that being done, uh, let's go ahead. We'll go to uh, the uh, Losers Pack, uh, of course, for a reward. Uh, I do apologize if I did this in advance. Or if I didn't do this in advance. Uh, so. Uh, we'll just do this really quick. Of course, whatever we get here from the last set, hopefully it's good. And uh, yeah, uh, let's just see what we get. Okay, uh, not bad. Uh, could always use, uh, I guess, another copy of a morning if I need it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead. Say this to the collection. And uh, with that, we'll end things off here and we'll head over to the next segment. Alright, 36 packs of Ruby and Sapphire. Um, 
Honestly, there's nothing really good in the set. I mean, to be honest, the EX cards in the set are, like, just exaggerated versions of what, like, the best, like, two and three stage Pokemon, like, the best ones from the set would be. So, like, EX ain't, ain't this, um... Uh, isn't this, like, special card that, like, dominates other Pokemon? Not for at least another few sets. But I will say the only EX out of this card that I am looking forward to getting, if I can pull it off, is the Mewtwo EX. That's probably, I think that's the only one that I would be probably looking for the most. Everything else, if it comes, it comes. So, yeah, let's get, go straight into it. Ooh, Torpedo. All right. Not bad. Oh, God, I love Gen 3. Oh, man, Gen 3 is the best, man. Oh. I played so many hours and hours of Gen 3 on my Game Boy Advance. Oh, I love this set. Love this set, and I love this uh, this generation. Oh, my God, a Swamper. All right, cool. So we got a Pokemon Reversal. Oh! Oh, we missed out on this, and we... Oh, thank... We got copies of this. Oh, fuck, though. No, Elvin's got... He's got two. Oh, my God. He's going to round out his playset with Pokemon Reversals. Oh, that's going to be annoying. But, nonetheless, though, that's really good on our end, though. Nose Pass. Mm. Oh, another Pokemon Reversal. Nice. Oh, I just saw the Mudkip, too. Mudkip was right there. Delcaddy, nope, not a big fan of it. Swelo, hmm. We'll see what that does later. It's got a Poke Power. I can see it from here. Oh, energy removal too. Oh my God, do I? <laughs> Should I try all of it again? <laughs> oh, okay. We got a, we got a. New, this is our first EX. Nice, Magmar EX. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Like this isn't that big of a deal for three. It does 40 and it's burn. I mean, it's guaranteed burn, but... Mm, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Honestly, we play a set of Magmar EX, I guess. But if I do recall, I think even even at this early stages of EX, I believe the opponent still takes two prize cards. So it's just... It's kind of not worth it. Oh! Two EXs in a row. Chansey EX. Chansey does 60 damage to itself. Fuck. It's like half its damage. Hmm. Maybe I could play an iteration with this with some healing potions. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Ooh, slacking. Oh my god, but I would need the, the the line, huh? Not bad though. Slacking's really good. Oh my god, I just read his Poke, Poke body. As long as he's up front, he can't, I can't use Poke powers. That's actually pretty crazy. Another reversal. Dale Caddy. Oh, okay, cool. We got, a, we got a Professor Birch. Nice. That's way better than Professor Oaks. Nice. Blaziken! Oh my god, dude. <laughs> yes! Okay. Okay, I did know this was in here. Um, I just completely forgot about it. But yeah, oh my god. If I can get a few more Blazikins, dude, that's the deck I'm building. Because I already seen Torchic and Combuskin. I just didn't mention them. Mm! <laughs> dude, oh my god, dude. It's happening. I don't know the Professor Birch. Oh, and the Vigoroth for the Slack King. Man, that was a that was a good goddamn pack. Oh, another metal energy, another energy removal too. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Elf. <laughs> You're gonna hate me. Oh my god! I, oh no, but he just <sighs> yeah, it's something like that. <laughs> eh, Ariana's not that bad actually. You should have more health than that, though, to be honest. Uh, Sharpedo. I already got it. It's not that great. Ooh, Lumberry. Actually, I've been overlooking this, but Lumberry's actually not that bad. 
Another darkness energy. Gardevoir. Oh my god. I think I think it's pretty good. I, just, I gotta read it. What the Marsh Stop and the Mudkip for the. Yep. Oh my god, another Gardevoir. Shit, not bad. Other than that, nothing else really stands out. Oh, there's my 30x. Hinmonchan EX. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh my god. Wait, it had it had another version of Blaze again? Ah oh, well I, I got two of the other ones and one of this one. Not bad actually. Oh another Swampert. Oh my god, I'm getting all the except for the final evolution to Grovile. But damn dude. Another Pokemon reverse. I think that's my set already. I'm gonna play that ground. I'm I'm being honest right now. Blazik Oh but that makes four Blaze again. Oh no, I'm begging you, dude. Honestly, I think I saw one, maybe two. Don't be another goddamn... <laughs> another Typhlosion incident, dude. Come on. Ooh, Sneasel EX. Not bad. Ooh, that beat-up is pretty insane. Ooh. Oh, there's a Combusket. Nice. Yeah, I, th I think I'm gonna go Fire in this deck. Oh, another Chansey EX. Damn, dude, that's like five of them. Not bad, actually. Not bad. I could play the Chansey EX, too, actually. <laughs> Five Blazikins. Five Blazikins. Unbelievable. I enjoy that. Six fucking godforsaken Blazikins, dude. Oh my god, that is so goddamn crazy. What the hell? I mean, it's good, but at the same time, I want something else, though. Dude, that could be a freaking Mewtwo EX. <sighs> Mighty Anna. Uh, I don't know about that. <sighs> Last pack. Oh, is that a Manetric? Hmm. That's alright, I guess, yeah. But, no. Nah, everything was pretty solid. I mean, I got a full playset of the whole Blazik in line, so... That's what we're gonna be playing. Um... We're just gonna have to look at the rest of our cards and collection stuff and just see exactly what we can, the perfect uh, deck we can make with this. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys over in the deck profiles. All right, guys, here we are. Uh, Ruby Sapphire, uh, 36 packs. Okay, uh, not bad. Uh, little energy. We finally got another one of these bad boys. Uh, and we got a good start at the, uh, Aaron line if we ever need it. Uh, not bad, not bad. Ooh, Dust Talks. Okay. We also got a Trico line going on here as well, so that's good. Ooh, we got the Mighty Anna. Nice. And the Puchiana to, uh, go along with it. Nice, nice, nice. Good start so far. Oh, there's our first EX Pokemon, the Electabuzz. All right. This uh, these packs are uh, showing promise. Oh shit, we got Gardevoir. Nice. Okay. Very, very, very interesting. And of course, back with nine cards. That is a true shame. Yeah, okay. That made up for like the good pulls I got. Oh, no way. We got another Guard of War. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, we might go a different direction with this, I guess. Another copy of po of Mighty Anna. I almost said Poochiana. Mighty Anna. All right, and we got our Pokeball retrain. Nice. Oh, well, it's not the septile that we uh we uh aforementioned, but you know, it's still a good septile regardless. Oh. 
All right, uh, second copy of this uh, version of the tile. Uh, I guess we'll take that as well. Second uh, EX Pokemon, uh, Hitmonchan makes his debut. Slacking, okay. Uh, known for high attack power in the games, but don't know about here. Might be useful. Who knows? Another copy of Hitmonchan, okay. Yo, uh, metal energy is kind of popping up like crazy here, I guess. That's pretty good. Alright. We can see darkness energies, that would be really good too. Yo, Agron. Nice. And I think we did get the other, like, two, uh, stages, so. This one's pretty solid. I'll give it that. No pun intended. Ah! Okay, interesting. Uh, this version of Swampert. Um, I believe, um, just like when they introduced uh, second generation, uh, there were two types of variants for like the final evolution, so. Okay, uh, Manantric, I guess. But yeah, uh, hopefully, uh, we'll see the other variants of the final evolution. Ooh, that's our third uh, EX uh, exclusive, uh, Scyther. Not bad. Third copy of Gardevoir. Okay. It seems like it's steering towards a certain deck I have to build. Involving at least the Gardevoir. Oh, that's not bad. We've got six packs left after all that. Sharpedo, nice. We did get it. Hoping we, if we get like a few more copies, I think we could be solid making a type of deck for this. Wow, third copy of uh, Hitmonchan. Okay, kind of going insane here. What the fuck? Dawn fan. All right. Three more packs. Hopefully we get something. Another copy of Side 3X. Okay. Third copy of Mariana. Okay. Uh, that's actually pretty decent. Um. Unfortunately, I don't think I have enough darkness energy to utilize uh, if I'm going to do like a playset of this uh, Pokemon. And of course, the final pack that we open does not have our rarity. Yeah, it's exactly what I expected. Okay, so that's pretty much all our packs. Uh... I believe out of the 36, we did lose for uh, rarity, like rare hollow, or uh, you know the rares. Um, I'm sort of content with this. Um, we did get three copies of uh, Mighty Yenna, uh one Sharpedo, the uh, the three Gardevoir as well, and a few Sceptile as well. Of course, can't complain. We did get uh, a few uh, EX cards, uh, like the Buzz, uh, Hitmonchan, and the Scyther. Um, yeah. Uh, I can say for a lot of these packs, it could have been a lot better, but uh, we'll take what we can get. And yeah, um, when we come back uh, to this side. Uh, it will be the deck profile for this episode. So let's go ahead. We'll save this to the collection. 
Without further ado, on to the next segment. All right, guys, we're back. This is the Blaziken deck. All right, we'll start off with Torchic. Yeah, we're, we're using four copies of this one. I didn't like the other one at all. Um, we're using two variants of Combuskin here. This one with double kick, chance to do 80. The other one, um, chance to do 50 or nothing, 50-50. And with the Pokey body of every time I attach or fire energy, uh, I remove special conditions from Combuskin. Now with Blaziken, I'm playing two variants here as well, because I'm playing two of them for damage output, which is the Flamethrower, so he does 80. And the other one, I'm playing him for his Pokey, Pokey Power, which is the Fire Starter, um, which lets me attach extra energy every turn. And Firestorm ain't that bad either, considering that uh, if I discard a fire energy from Blaziken, I do uh, 10 damage to all my opponent's uh, bench Pokemon. So, not bad. Spread damage ain't that bad. Okay, um, now we're going to move on to Pokemon that not necessarily deal damage, but they're tools in the stack to get out Blaziken as quick as possible. And just, again, just outvalue and outpace Alvin as we did in the last uh, battle. So, I guess we'll start with uh, Skitty. Uh, Skitty's actually, this Skitty's actually pretty crazy. All the other Skitties are okay, but this one's way better. This one says you can search your deck for up to two basic, uh, energy cards, show them to your opponent, and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. And the second one is, uh, Lullaby. Defending Pokemon is now asleep. No energy involved, puts them just straight to sleep. Now, what's crazy about the Skitty is that you can basically put them to sleep, do Lullaby, and if they stay asleep, you go ahead, do minor errand running, and you literally just get a free turn of just adding two energy cards straight to your hand. And getting those energy cards straight to your hand is very essential, considering the next turn you could follow up with Delcaddy, which is her Poke Power energy draw. Um, this kind of works like Juggler. Um, if I discard an energy card from my hand, I could draw up to three cards from my deck. That's pretty insane, um, considering the Poke Powers can be used from the bench. So she would not necessarily be used for attacking, but for that extra draw power, oh hell yeah, I'm going to use the hell out of that. Uh, move on to Zigzagoon, potential to do 30 damage. Layoon, um, continuous headbutt's actually pretty interesting. He's kind of like the Marowak, except uh, 40 damage instead of 50. You just keep going until you get tails, and then you do f times 40 for each heads. Um, that's it for the Pokemon. For the trainer cards, we've got Fastball, uh, Dual Ball, Master Ball. Throw in a little tech here with Apricart Maker, in case I don't actually get any of these, and I have a Maker in my hand. Get it at those, those balls, uh, item... Trainer cards straight to my hand, and they're not supporters. These balls aren't supporters, so I could just use them right after I search them literally with the Apricot Maker. Um, the most broken card that came out of this set, uh, as far as supporters go, is uh, Professor Birch. This card is nuts. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's, there's no downside. You don't have to shuffle this card back into your deck. It literally, you draw cards into the F6. Just. <laughs> yeah. I, Go ahead, dude. Use up your whole hand. Professor Birch is your last hand. Boom, use it. An extra six cards. There you go. Have a nice day. <laughs> I have no more to say to that. Pokenev, um, look at the top three cards in my deck. Choose a basic Pokemon evolution card or energy card and show it to your opponent and then shuffle the other two back in. Crazy for an item for an item card. I can get anything in my choosing, which is whether it's basic, evolution, and energy. This card's very flexible considering what I may need depending on the situation. For switches, all my Pokemon, um, I'm gonna be need to consistently need to be switching out. So four is there. With my strategy, I'm again I'm gonna need consistently be needing energy cards in my hand. Um, I'm also gonna need them in the discard pile for Blaziken, but I'm gonna need them in my hand for the Delcaddy, so I can just keep drawing. And for the energies, yeah, just fire energy and double colorless energy. It's three. Yeah, guys, and that's the Blaziken deck. Um, that's pretty straightforward, you know. Just you know, again, get to my Blaziken as quick as possible. Get to the Delcaddy. Um, start, you know, abusing the hell out of that draw engine that it has. Um, in case I don't get that, I can always get to Leon, um, and Leon can actually draw me... Oh, I actually didn't talk about this, actually. But, uh, Leon's first ability is Seek Out. So, so, you can search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. So, although you're it costing it at an attack and they're doing no damage, dude, you get two cards from your deck. It's literally two computer searchers with no drawback. So yeah, and that's pretty much it. Just use these other Delcaddy and Leon as uh, as utility, just to get to my Blaziken as quick as possible. And yeah, and just go ahead and just just wreck the opponent. 
All right. I'm very interested to, to bring this to the table. Let's see what Alan's got. Let's get straight to the battle. Okay, guys. Here we are back again with the deck profile for uh, this episode. Um, honestly, I have no idea what I pulled out of my ass for this one. But uh, we'll just go ahead and stick with it for now. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go over the cards real quick. Um, it might take a long while since a lot of these are pretty much new in my standards. Um, so I guess we can start with the main one, uh, Brawl Twine. Uh, so we got both copies here, I guess. Uh, I don't know why this one's on by itself. Uh, three copies of this version of uh, Ralts, and then one copy of this version of Ralts, and then the next Pokemon. Uh, three copies, or two copies rather, uh, this version of Curlia, and then this uh, Curlia. Very interesting. Um, that's dance not impressive. Uh, basically, chance for confusion. Um, Life drain, however. Uh, double point. If heads, put damage counters on the defending Pokemon until it is 10 HP away from being knocked out. So, imagine this thing going against like a tough ass Pokemon with like a bunch of HP. One flip coin could potentially change the outcome of that Pokemon uh, from being knocked out. It's freaking insane if you think about it. And then of course, we got our evolution card. Uh, got a what? Uh, three copies of this one. Uh, very interesting Poke uh, Poke Power. Psy Shadow. Uh, so, once per turn, uh, before I attack, I can search for my deck for a Psychic Energy card and attach it to one of my Pokemon. However, I have to put two damage counters on that Pokemon. So it's sort of like Rainbow Energy, but uh, a little bit worse. Because um, at least for eight Rainbow Energy, I put um, one counter on the Pokemon. And that uh, energy becomes whatever it wants. This one, I just had to search for a Psychic Energy and put two damage counters that Pokemon. It is sort of a bit of a fair trade-off, but um, I thought of a, a few ways to at least counteract that uh, when it comes to that point. Um, of course, uh, it can't be used if this is affected by a status condition. Uh, this card also has an interesting attack. Uh, energy Burst. So, does 10 damage times the total amount of energy attached to Gardevoir and a defending Pokemon. I'm gonna go ahead and go to an interesting card. Uh, I thought, at least. Uh, Staryu and its uh, evolution. Uh, two copies of uh, this version. Uh, it's the uh, Aquapolis version. Um, energy healing. Uh, basically, just heals for, uh, for every energy attached to this Pokemon. Uh, so. If you have like two, basically it does like a full heal to the Pokemon. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the other attack. It's not really relevant in this case. Uh, but the most relevant thing about it is its evolution, which is Starmie. Uh, I mentioned it uh, before in one of the card explanations, but this thing is actually pretty decent. Or at least what I remember if I did explain it in the card explanation. Uh, Energy Burst is really interesting. Um, Flip a coin, uh, if has this attack does 10 damage times the number of energy attached to Sarmi and a defending Pokemon. So it could do, it's basically the same thing as a uh, God of War. Uh, just depends on how much energy you put into the Sarmi. Mew, one copy only. Uh, only one move, very interesting. Super Side Wave, uh, choose one of our opponent's Pokemon. Uh, count the number of energy cards attached to that Pokemon, and then put that many damage counters on the Pokemon. So, and then, uh, last, you two, only one copy. Uh, Hypnosis, decent, uh, just a chance to sleep. And then Psychic, uh, basically the attack does 20 more damage plus 10 more uh, for each energy, energy attached to the defending Pokemon. That's pretty much it for the Pokemon. Uh, trainer cards, um, We'll go over some of them real quick since we've seen most of it. Uh, two, two copies, build maintenance, 
uh, of course, uh, you guys know what it does. Management store, uh, same thing, uh, two copies, uh, two Forest Guardian, uh, one Juggler, uh, two Impulse, three Master Ball, uh, two Pokemon Fan Club, one Seer, and that's pretty much it for the new cards, or for the old cards that we've already seen. Uh, now some for some of the new Pass uh, Ball, two copies, Boom Milk, uh, choose one of our Pokemon, flip two coin, remove two damage uh, counters times the number of heads from that Pokemon. Uh, so basically, uh, decent healing. Uh, of course, if I get the two heads off the coin flips. Three copies of Warren Berry. Uh, uh, basically, this is like the berry from like the Johto or second gen. Uh, basically, just attaches to one of our Pokemon. If it has two damage counters on it, immediately heal it. Uh, so this is pretty much uh, a way to uh, like play off against like the Gardevoir, the uh, giving two damage to a certain Pokemon. So this is pretty much the trade off for the Gardevoir. Uh, Three copies of Pokeball uh, from the first generation. Two copies, two copies. Uh, this card is actually pretty good. Uh, this also plays off against like the Gardevoir as well. Um, so anytime between turns that the Pokemon this card is attached to is benched and has two more damage counters on it, search your deck for an evolution card that Pokemon evolves into and put it on top of that Pokemon. Basically counting it as an evolution. Uh, this is again. This is really good, since uh, Gardevoir is like the one dealing damage to our Pokemon, and if that Pokemon can evolve, basically uh, just a free evolution right off the bat. So very very good. And then finally, uh, one copy Traveling Salesman. Uh, search your deck for up to two technical machine or Pokemon tools. Show them to your opponent and put them into your hand. So this is basically a way to. Uh, Search for either a bunch of Warrenberry or the two star pieces. So that's our only way to get the uh, Pokemon tools if we don't get them in time. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the uh, trainer cards. And then finally, uh, last but not least, we got our uh, Psychic Energy, 14 copies. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, and yeah, with that, uh, I think it's time to head out into the play field and uh, see which deck is more superior. Gen 3, we're here. I don't know about you, Alvin, but Gen 3 is one uh, one of my most favorite generations in this game. I mean, Generation 1 may be classic, but I know the, the game I probably played the most, surprisingly, is Gen 3. So I'm very excited for this set. How about you, dude? Uh, I can say the same. Um... Th third gen kind of like really got me back into Pokemon. Uh, you know, like after like the small burnout that I had like for my childhood. Mm. So yeah, yeah. I mean, so, so it's very good to have this like you know for us to be in this set finally. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I played Gen three a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, and then I went and played Gen four for a bit, and then I came back to Gen three. Dude, I loved it. I don't know why. I just I love Gen three. But uh, That's cool. That's yeah, generation's amazing, dude. But uh. All right, dude. Let's not stall any further, dude. Let's see. Uh, we gotta see what we brought today to the table, dude. Okay. All right, guys. None of us mulligan. None of us mulligan. So we'll just get straight to the dice rolls. All right. Okay. Four. Okay. We go again, I guess. Wow, that's a first. Is that a first ever? Yeah, I, th I think that's a first. Yeah. Damn. Fuck! Get it, get it, please. Fuck! Okay. Six. Wow. No! Uh, <laughs> fuck. Um. Uh, all right. Well, I guess let's flip. Uh, all right. Uh, uh. I guess you'll go. So let me just send it over to you. Uh, okay, I'll start. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll start it. All right, then we'll flip in three, two, one, now. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot to do that. <laughs> oh! 
Oh. Oh. No, but that doesn't. Like, well, okay. It's still a, sort of a mystery for me because I, of course, like we always play normal sometimes, like to as a backup, but like or a secondary. But I still don't know what your main type. Dude, would be. dude, check check what Skitty does his first his first move. No, I, I say net. Yeah. Dude, it's, this game's crazy, dude. What the hell? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, another... uh, I'll go first. Yep, go for um... it. <sighs> um, I can't play supporters. I can't play items. Hmm. Okay. We'll go ahead. We'll attach one energy to Skitty. Fire. Okay, so that's that could still be uh, still be anything, but well, I don't know, oh, dude. Let's fire. Well, so is fire. Then my last deck, dude. I ran uh, I ran a bunch of energy cards. What are you talking about? I know. Yeah, I can't. I can't really <laughs> say. So. Oh my god! Hold up. Yeah. One, what two. happened? One, two, three. Four, five, six. Oh my god. Okay, my bad. Uh, I'm probably still gonna end, but let me draw real quick. I didn't draw a card. <laughs> um, oh my god. Yeah, I, I didn't draw a card, yeah. Two, five, six. <laughs> Thought I could change anything. Alright, Nick, go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, I knew it wasn't gonna sure. change. I knew it wasn't gonna change anything. I, mean, I couldn't really play anything. Okay. Well, uh, we'll, we'll draw for turn. Go ahead, dude. Okay. Uh... Let's put this guy out here. Oh, I'm new. Ooh. And then we'll go ahead, we'll play that. Master Ball. Okay. Um, try, try to get that Curlia. Alright, dude. Hopefully. Well, I mean, uh, technically you can get a basic off of it too, so. You can, oh, do you can get another Mew, dude? Nah, um, <laughs> I'll grab. But I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, grab this one and play it on the bench. Just like make things easier. Okay. And then we will go ahead and do. One, two, three. What is the. I swear for this longest. Oh my god, I thought it was a normal type. The other, the other Ralts? Oh. Oh, it's just colored different, right? Yeah, it's just, no, it's like the color is faded for some reason. Yeah, I got you. I okay, see this one over here, it's like it's a little better, but... Actually, this one's actually kind of faded too. Like, look. Like, they see the color on Mew now. Now, that's the color of a Psychic type right there. Yeah. Uh, Wait, I guess it's just because it's... I guess because it's like third gen, they try to make it like a little bit... <laughs> dude, dude, uh, from... Different. From... Dude, from you to your active Pokemon, it like literally looks like dude, just like the the coloring just got lazy. It just gets like the, the purple gets lighter and lighter. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> look at look at that! Look at that! <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, so we got the Ralts so and we put it in our bench. Go ahead, we'll play this. Okay. What's that? Traveling salesman. So we'll oh, search for two, okay. either two tactical machines or two Pokemon tools. Okay. So, we'll go ahead okay. and hopefully it's not in the prize card because that would fucking kind of just suck balls. All right, we got one at least. So we'll grab one. Are you just, just going to grab one? No, we're, we're just going for the other one. Oh, okay. And we'll grab this one. Yep, told you. <laughs> told you. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll... Damn, I guess I overlooked the salesman. That's actually that's actually yeah. good. that's actually really good actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so okay. let's see. Go ahead. Oops, didn't mean to move him. Uh, we'll get these to our hand. And we'll attach a psychic energy 
onto the rods. Okay. And let me see. Okay. Uh, we'll also put the um the star piece on him just in case. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll do pound for ten damage counters. All right, dude. Taking the pound town, dude. All right, and uh. With that, we'll go ahead and pass the turn. Okay! Go for turn! Mm -hmm. well, that sucks. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Let's start off with this, baby. Mm -hmm. We'll start off with Apricorn Maker. Oh, okay. Oh, search, no. Search for two Ball Trainer cards. Yep. I'll go ahead and... Grab this one and this dual ball. One. Yeah, I'll grab two dual balls. We'll play one of the dual balls. Okay. Flip so. that coin, dude. Oh fuck! Come on, give me one, baby. Yep, that's why I grabbed okay. two. <laughs> that's, that's literally yeah, what. Thanks. That's literally why I grabbed two, dude. I guess guaranteed. Yeah, just the backup plan. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Just give me one. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Oh, boy. I'll go ahead and grab it. My God. <laughs> oh, I should have the Master Balls. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, you got to take a chance. So. All right. Oh, if you're that kind of desperate, like, if you didn't have any, like, other basic Pokemon, so. I think I would have done the same. Wait, do uh, do I have to show you? Uh, yes. So just Torchic? Okay. Yeah. All right, that's fine. All right, so just now that you know I'm playing. Oh man, I really you got the Blaze Kid. Um. Well, stick a double colorless on <laughs> Torchic. Ah, uh, yeah, so it's probably prime ready. Fuck. Okay, um... Yeah, honestly, I don't, I don't need the basic energies. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and do lullaby. I'll do ten and then you go to sleep. So, flip a coin. Tails, okay, so still asleep. Still asleep, yeah. Alright, uh... Drop a turn. Oh, and let me put the counter, just in case. Mm-hmm. Uh, so one. Okay. Uh, well, this is a thing. I guess it fucking doesn't matter, does it? Okay then. Fucking, <laughs> 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 like, you were right, dude. It didn't matter. Uh -huh. I eventually drew the fucking card. Son of a bitch. Fucking uh, <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead. We'll, um. Yeah, why not? We'll put another psychic onto, uh, the Curlia. And we'll go ahead, we'll do, uh, removal beam. Oh, okay. So, 10 damage. And we flip a coin. If heads, basically, energy removal. Mm hmm. Alright, cool. <sighs> okay. Maybe you should really kind of consider about the whole basic energy thing. Uh, but yeah, with that, we'll just go ahead and pass turn. Uh, I'll draw. Well, dessert for talking shit. Here we go. Fastball. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Here I we guess. go, baby. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just go. Yeah, uh, so, Birch. Dude, Birch is fucking crazy, dude. Yeah? Birch oh, is, shit. Dude, Birch is busted, dude. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, no, it's Evolution. Hold on. 
Keep going. Yeah, let's have a listen. Ah! Oh, okay. Well. There we go. Ooh, that's actually powerful. Decently. Okay. I do have to say. I'll add that to my hand. And the rest of these will go back to the deck. Oh my god. Alright, for starters, I guess uh, we'll evolve the Torchic. Yeah, good start. Damn, dude, I really should have gotten Oh, that. wait a minute. It's not this version. Okay, so it's the oh, other one. Oh, that's a different one, dude. Oh, shit. Okay. <clears throat> oh, shit. Okay. That's actually a lot th more threatening than I thought it was. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh my god, I just realized something. Oh fuck, that's not good. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I might as well do it, to be honest. Yeah. Ow. Alright, we'll go ahead and we'll put one on... We'll put Skitty. one on, on Skitty, and then we'll go ahead and do uh, minor Aaron running. I'll search my right. deck for two basic energies. Mm -hmm. uh, Skitty's going to die regardless. Alright, I'll grab this Why one. Speed oh, it has 40, okay. Uh, shuffle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Add both of these to the hand. Um, and then, yeah, that was his attack, so that'll pretty much end my turn. But Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and draw for turn. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, at least something. Uh, we'll get Master Ball. Okay. Okay, so we'll draw seven. We'll add it, but we'll also play it at the same time. Just to make it easier. Okay, Master Ball done. And you got Mewtwo with it, and it's on Double. the bench. Continue. Okay. Uh... I'm actually kind of deliberating here a bit. I guess that Star Piece was a waste. Oh, you you have Gardevoir? <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I had this like in the beginning of my hand. Fuck, dude. Uh, so let's go ahead. We'll transfer counters. Uh, no. okay, hold on. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So we'll use its ability. Oh my god! What uh, the fuck? So we can search for a psychic energy and attach it to one of our Pokemon. However, the downside is that Pokemon will take twenty damage. All right, dude. So you're gonna grab an energy and attach it to who? All right, I'm gonna grab an energy. I'm gonna attach it to the Mewtwo. Okay. And then he'll receive the two damage counters. Okay. So we'll do that. Let's we'll slap that down in there. Give him the give him that young two damage counters then. Yeah, unfortunately. So let me shuffle this real quick. Put it on the Mewtwo. And he'll gain two damage counters. Right, come on, God! I don't, I don't ask for much, dude. But just will, will a blaze it come onto the top of my deck? Because I'm begging you. Dude. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm just praying at this point. Regardless, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead attach a psychic energy on. Oh my God! No, mom is way. <laughs> yeah. All uh, right. We'll go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and use energy burst. So this. Attack does 10 damage times the total amount of energy cards attached to, or attached, <laughs> energy attached to Gardevoir and the defending Pokemon. So since there's four total, mm -hmm. it'll do yeah, 40 it does, damage. It does, wait, what? Yeah, so it'll do wait. 40 damage. No, it'll do 30. Gardevoir and the defending Pokemon. Oh, it's fuck, I didn't read that last part. Oh my god. Okay, well. 
Yep. Well, I don't even know why I'm questioning it. Skitty's dead regardless. <laughs> I, don't right. I don't even know why I question that. He's dead either way. Okay. Um. And we'll add this one to the hand. Here comes big boy last resort, dude. Yeah, I guess so. God, that uh, fucking... Dude, that fucking dual ball. Both of them just failed me. I would be right. so I would be in such a good position. You don't even know, dude. If you kill me straight off the bat, I'm gonna show you what I have. Okay. okay. Um. All right, dude. Go ahead. All right. Uh, I guess with that, we'll just go ahead and pass turn. All right. Come on, God. My man, I know you got my back here. Here we go. Draw for turn. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a bit. Oh fuck, dude! Oh my god. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh my. Oh. Jesus. I can't, I'm just laughing because I can't believe I have to actually fucking do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna die. I, ha I have to do it. Mm. Alright, we're, <laughs> we're gonna Professor Perks for one card. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Not like this! Desperado. <sighs> All right. Well, we'll just go ahead and um. Yeah, we'll just we'll double kick. All right. So annoying the fact that you'll 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 hold on by one. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Um. Okay. Uh, we'll just go ahead and flip. Well. Mm -hmm. At least I'll okay. do 40. That's uh, fine. At least I did 40. Alright. Mm hmm. With that, I'll end my turn. Let me see. Just real quick. I just want to make sure. Um, okay, I did shuffle beforehand. Alright. Just want to make sure. Drop a turn. I know. I literally. I know one thing that'll, that'll alleviate this problem. I already, I already know. I just. But I'd have to test it though. I think I think by adding some basic, some Pokemon fan clubs will be will do this deck some good. But it's not bad. I think I just got some poor draws, but that's fine. I mean, you did, you did have one at one point. You just like when you were doing the fastball thing. So I, I don't talk about that. All right. Well, just go ahead and play Ralts. <laughs> don't talk about that. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and do another star piece. I guess. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, okay. Um Yeah man. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god, dude, the the star piece was you're right, but it was wasted on the Ralts. Not because you drew the Gardevoir, but because we didn't read I didn't read the card correctly. So the Pokemon no, has the Pokemon has to be on the bench. Oh shit, you're right. Oh fuck. Yeah, so you it was wasted with even with even wow, you got lucky then, dude. You got lucky you had the guard on your head, dude. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow, I was playing around that? Oh my god. I could hit you twice. Fuck. Alright, we're gonna end it off. Uh so we'll go ahead. We'll use uh Side Shadow. Side Shadow. Okay. We'll so that's the uh, energy two. card. It's enough to kill your it's enough to kill Combuskin. Yeah, you got me a lot of fucking health. <laughs> there we go. Do our attack. 70 damage. And door. Oh my god, dual ball failed me, dude. I should have brought my troll deck, dude. Fucking hell, dude. Oh, okay. What was in your hand? There is no way you could have had, like, anything else. Like, if you had, like, a bunch of evolutions that couldn't go to anything. Oh, dude, if only, dude, if only you see my hand, dude. If only you see my hand. What the fuck? <laughs> like that's that's why I needed the dual ball to come in clutch, cause you I had... got like three combustions if you had that. Dude, yeah, dude, I would I would have had three combustions exactly. Did you get the other blaziken? 
the one with the uh, Poke Power? Uh, I don't think I did. I think I played just this one. Yeah, it's fucking God, dude. <laughs> oh, you did. <laughs> I got two, dude. Oh, you got two. Wow. Okay. Fucking Jesus. Dude, I got four, dude. <laughs> All four fucking places. Dude, you got lucky, dude! Oh my god! Fucking oh, hell, man. dude! Dude, you- Ah, oh, dude, it just all came together. You already had the Gardevoir, and then, dude- Oh my god, you evolving that freaking Curly when you drew it off the top, dude. I was game over there, dude. I was like- I was like, at least this- this. I was like, I was thinking Skitty can maybe buy me some time if I just keep putting you to sleep. It's like, it's like, dude, it's like Karma was telling me, Hey, dude, you had your luck last week, dude. How, how about we take you that down a notch, dude? <laughs> uh, you got you got way too greedy from that. <laughs> let's, let's turn it down a bit. I was like, I right, do first. First, you went into draft, and now you win last week. Nah, dude, you need you need to stop, dude. You got you got to stop, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, you're out of hand, dude. You're out of hand, dude. You're getting out of hand. <laughs> uh, and I'm just here saying, yes, sir. Just being, uh, just depression, dude. Well, all right, dude. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that uh, ten minute battle. Oh, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Me and Alan will talk about the side, but if if in the future it seems like these battles are keep getting to this point, we honestly might might consider playing. Start doing our battles with two out of three. I don't recommend it because some battles that when we're back and forth take forever. But yeah, yeah. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll just we'll, we'll see how it progresses. If it just seems like both like it just keeps becoming one sided on both sides, then we might we might do that. And with that, there goes another uh, <laughs> another exciting episode, dude. It was a it was a nail biter, dude, to the very end, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to, the, to the very end, dude. Oh no, dude. That was uh, oh, God. that was a masterful performance from both uh, from both trainers, dude. <laughs> oh God, I got I got freaking wrecked, dude. All right, guys. Well, stay tuned for the next one. Which one's the next one, dude? Uh, I looked it up a bit. Uh, it should be Sandstorm. That's next. Ooh, okay. EX Sandstorm. I'm, I'll make sure to do my research on that one, because uh, I actually came into this, packing this one with a little bit of knowledge, but as you can see, I went straight for the Blaze and I packed four of them. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, no, actually, I packed five, actually. Yeah, I think God. I, I think I packed five. Yeah, well, anyways, though, but um, yeah, stay, you guys stay tuned for Sandstorm, and anything to say, uh, Alvin? Uh, let me just say, uh, hopefully this next set will be better than the last one, because in my, in my packs, I literally, literally nothing just could come up what I wanted, and I had to <laughs> improvise. Well, it looks like you're, improv you're improvising work, so. Yeah. All right, guys, it looks like, with, so. it looks like with this back and forth, finally the, the prog seems to be heating up, no pun intended, but yeah, um. Yeah, just stay tuned for the next one, and Shadow's are out. Take care, guys.